Hey, Aaron. Uh, what has been your impression of the three exhibition games that you guys have played and uh, just being in the, the empty ballparks in this new environment for you guys? Oh, it's been different, Brian. Um, definitely different. I know the, they got the crowd noise and they're trying to, you know, add that in there. But it, it's, it's not the same as, you know, a packed out Yankee Stadium, on, you know, Mets Yankees game or even being at City Field Mets, you know, uh, Yankees game or, you know, even when the Phillies come, you know, and the atmosphere we got. So it's, it's a little different, but it's still competition. You know, we're still, you know, out there ready to compete. You know, I don't, I don't think, you know, the outside noise or outside things are going to change, you know, the competition and type of play we got. So uh, it's been different, but we're going to adapt and change to it. But it's, it's going to be weird even next year, even at some point this year, we get fans in the stadium. That's going to be a little weird, I think, for, <laughs> for some guys going from no fans and then right all of a sudden we got, you know, fans in the stadium. So uh, we're, we're going to miss them, but, you know, I can't wait to have them back in there. Thank you. Sweeney Murdy, you can unmute. You have the next question. Hey, Aaron, a week ago you said you weren't quite 100 percent yet. Has that moved forward? What did you learn in the last couple of days taking swings against competitive pitching? to tell you where you're at physically and where your swing is? Uh, yeah, I, I was just saying that, you know, like I said, I woke up on the wrong side of the bed and Nick was bothering me. It wasn't 100 percent, but that's that's cleared up. And I really like I told you guys, that wouldn't be an issue. Um, but I, I'm ready to go. You know, I'd always like to see, you know, get more live at bats before the season, you know, take a couple more practice tests. You know, it never hurts anybody. But um, I think we're, I think we're all ready for, for Thursday to get here. And, you know, I'm feeling good physically, mentally, um, just ready to go. You know, I still thinking a lot about how last year ended. Uh, it's still stuck with me and um, still, you know, motivation for me to make sure that doesn't happen again. So, but I, I think the boys are ready and we're ready to get rolling. And the rib is not an issue? No, 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 no. It's not an issue. Thank you, Aaron. You're welcome. Take another question from Ken Davidoff. Ken. Hey, Aaron. Your, uh, your question to, uh, I'm sorry, your answer to Bruce's question, I mean, you're clearly aware of, you know, the world and, and how crazy these last few months have been. Uh, with that in mind, is there any apprehension now as you start to, get on a train tomorrow and you're going to fly on planes and you go to areas that are, that are hot spots. And, and, and does that at all mix in with the excitement you have over the, over the start of a baseball season? Yeah, Ken, it is going to be a little, you know, leery, I guess, you know, like you say, getting on a train, you know, traveling to a different city. We've kind of been in our own little bubble here in New York, our own little bubble in Tampa. So I think kind of leaving that bubble is going to be, uh, a little difficult, but this is what we signed up for. We wouldn't have signed up for these, you know, for this if we weren't aware of the risk and what we have to kind of face you know these next couple of months but this team we're the yankees have prepared us well you know they've you know given us the do's and don'ts what to do so i think just as a team and an organization we're going to do our best to keep everybody safe and i think um i think we're going to be all right so uh we'll be good thank you man you're welcome greg joyce you're next you can unmute hey aaron I'm sure you saw the, a few Giants uh, players and coaches last night knelt for the national anthem. I'm just wondering if you guys have talked about your plans for Thursday and if, if, if what those discussions have been like for you guys. Hey, no, I, I really, I didn't watch, I didn't get a chance to watch the game with the, uh, with the A's and Giants, but you, you see it on Twitter, um, videos and pictures. No, we haven't um, discussed it yet as a team because it's kind of tough to meet in one area because all the rules and regulations now are the six feet apart. But we'll, de we'll definitely discuss it um, going into going into Thursday. But um, what I thought of it, um, that's the beauty of America, you know, is freedom of speech and freedom to express yourself. You know, we, get, we got a special platform being, you know, athletes and being able to speak our mind and speak what's, you know, going on in this world. And, um, you know, some people express it online. Some people express it with words. Some people, you know, kneel, do what they need to do. But um, I think whatever message, you know, that we try to give out here is I, we want to try to express unity and that we're all in this together. And I think that's the biggest message that we're trying to we're going to try to get across from here is um, just we're all in this together and try to have those uncomfortable conversations that we need to have and bring up those uncomfortable, you know, talking points. But, uh, you know, no matter what happens, we're in this together.
take another one or two. Ron Blum, go ahead and unmute. Hey, Aaron, when you say the way last year ended is motivation, how does it motivate you? Do you like lie around at home in the morning, think about like what you have to do better? Is that something you think about in the clubhouse preparation before the game or walking up to the plate before and at bat? Is it a mindset, something you talk to teammates about? Yeah, Ron, just at the, at the end of last year after the game, uh, and it was, it was a tough loss and kind of just spoke to the team and just said, hey, guys, don't don't forget this feeling. Don't forget this emptiness, this, you know, you're mad. We're thinking about what we could have done different, this and that, what we could have done, what I could have done. You know, that's the biggest thing is I go back to what I, you know, missed opportunities I had. Um, but you just you just use it as fuel. I try to tell the guys, use this as fuel as you train the off season. You know, as we get ready for the 2020 season, you remember that. You don't want this feeling again. You know, what can we do? What can we do different to prepare the right way so um, that outcome doesn't happen? You know, and that's one thing that, you know, you, you watch the film, you learn what you need to work, focus on, and then you, you move forward. And that's what we're going to try to do now is, you know, learn from our mistakes and move forward into this 2020 season and do what we need to do to, you know, kind of get past that, that next step.